as we get set and ready to race here at Sport. Three Yamp cars are in the top six. And three Mace cars are in the top six here as well. Charles Sanford, Vince Allen had the front row. Sanford's going to lead us down to the green flag in the UPS board. Here we go. Green flag is out for most sports. All ready to start the race. The flagman is still waving the flag. I don't know why. We already passed the start finish line. So, um, yeah, I don't know why he's doing that. Um, he finally stopped, but Charles Jackson is on the put row for Blue Flare Motorsports. This, this team has kind of struggled to do well in the point standings this season. Charles Jackson is like 38th in the point standings, looking to try and find something, but it's not going to happen here. He's got troubles to start the race. Here's some guys that really have qualified really badly here. Jeff James had a terrible qualifying effort. Dylan Young and Richard Johnson, terrible qualifying efforts here at Mosport. Charles Jackson would get back and underway. There must have been a spark plug issue that what we're hearing, what was wrong under that Toyota of the 81. But, oh, no, Vince Allen, his teammate turned him there, I think it was. Jordan Davis. Vince and Allen and Jordan Davis, two Mace cars hooked off the S-Bin. Battling for the lead here, Jordan Davis drove it in deep there. He got tight there, and Louvier was all over the back bumper of him and nowhere for them guys to go there. And the 5 and the 24, two Mace cars. The Mace cars were looking really strong for this race weekend. And they're now out of the race. Two of the Mace cars are out. Oh, Louvier! Wow, really close there. Bassinger got the back of him there. Louvier hung on to it. Louvier's Ford right there. He came really close at Road Atlanta to winning there. Um, but he ended up having, having some troubles there. But... Two of the fastest Chevy cars just wrecked last lap there. And another Yamp car for this race weekend is in the lead here on another road course. Chris Louvier for Yamp Motorsports had a fast Ford at Road Atlanta. And Charles Sanford is looking like he's carrying the torch for Yamp Motorsports for this race weekend here. Coming around, he's going to lead right now the first, three, first two laps here. Back to second here is Jake Bassinger. He lost the point lead to Jeff James last round. Jeff James is far in the back in the field here. Something happened. There's a lot of guys that are wrecked here, but boy, there's that's Jordan Newman outside the racetrack. Um, but the 88 car, where is he even at? Did I just pass him? The 88 car of Jeff James. There's a lot of people that's got a lot of troubles here. There must have been an incident there, but Jeff James right here. He's 33rd on the racetrack right now. It looks like Jake Bassinger may take the point lead after this race. Here's what happened here. Jordan Newman, Sean Galligan hooked right there. Galligan got hit again and right there in the fence water last week's winner there. And there was Jordan Fisher there. Cooper Siron slid off the racetrack. And they're all going to come right back up the racetrack here. And they gonna, they're going to keep it going there. But that's what happened to keep a lot of guys damaged there. Um, they ended up keeping it going there, but Jeff James, I don't know what's happened to him. He's got a really slow car for this race weekend. Matt DeLeo had a lot of troubles as well. Here's what happened here. Um, right there. Oh, boy, where did that other car go? There was another CBM there. Right here, Cody Lamas. Looking at it again, there was an incident right here on lap, coming back around to lap two here. Oh, Jacob Hart cut over and under his Allen. Didn't know he was clear. There was Cody Lamas. And right there was all the other guys right there bouncing into each other. That's where a lot of guys got their damage right there. Paul Ateneo, Sean Perkins, um, Jeff James there, Steven Paul the third. Oh, that's where all of them got their damage there. Later on in the race, Jeff James would have a tire go down. And his number 88 Ford struggling right here, here today. And he's going to probably lose the points lead again after just taking the point lead this race. Here's some guys doing really well for this race here. Skyla Johnson just inside the top 10. Alan Cavanaro for ARC Racing here. This team prepped a lot for um, a road course here. They're doing well here. Two underfunded drivers er, and teams here of um, Finn Guy Pistoni and ARC Racing doing really well. And Dom Caps is actually having a really good race here. Um, this team is looking like they want to try and finish inside the top 20, maybe the top 15. The... Monster Energy Racing Team is not doing really well this um, season. They only finished inside the top 10 one time this season with um, Kyle Collins in Texas World. 
Kyle Collins has had some issues this race. Dom Caps, his best finish of the entire season was last round. He finished like 22nd or 24th. And he's on search, he's on route right now to finish inside the top 20 for the first time this season, running 12. And it's that what happened right here, we're coming around to lap 6 here. The Amp Cars and Corweiser here. Look at Sora Fox, he tried to make it 3 wide, there was not enough room. Louvier went up and over, and there was a glitch there, like that pit wall there. It's kind of just virtually there, I guess. I don't know what happened to the pit wall there, but Louvier... Another weekend he went around there and Luke Martin went inside the top five. Another good race weekend here. He went around, but they dropped to eighth and seventh there. Oh boy, Louvier and Martin again, Tangle. And Martin slides it there and it's gonna lose more positions there. However, later Nick Perkles would take the lead from Charles Sanford. Sanford lost it out in the dirt. We did not be able to, we were not able to see what happened. The, um, for the pass for the lead, but Nick Perkles, his Corweiser Ford, went right on by Nick um, Charles Sanford when Sanford got out in the dirt, and Nick Perkles, the Corweiser 11 Ford, the Corweiser's back where they're usually seen at, up front leading the race, Nick Perkles, all the other Corweisers there, Jeff James and Luke Martin have won multiple races this season, but Perkles and Collins for the 11 and the 9 team, they have not won yet this season. Chris Louvier had a good run going. He had a fast race car again for this race. Um, he's had really fast race cars last two re race weekends when the Amp cars finally got Corweiser engines. And Chris Louvier's fast forward is done for. Like, he came down pit road, lost a lot of time, and he's not going to get the finish he deserves here. But up front, Charles Sanford has ran down Nick Perkles. And Yamp Car versus Corweiser here. Um, Yamp now has Corweiser engines here, so um, the Yamp Cars are equally as strong as the Corweisers now. And Charles Sanford is battling hard with Perkles here. Sanford has got a lot of experience here in the Sony Cup Series. Charles Sanford, this is his 16th um, season in the Sony Cup Series. He dives at low of Nick Perkles. Perkles loses it out in the dirt a little there. And new leader, Charles Sanford. With a lot of people struggling here today, Charles Jackson is continually, um, he had to come down pit road and fix a spark plug issue. He's 25th right now. This team kind of, this team of um, Charles Jackson, the Blue Flare Motorsports team, they just want to try and finish inside the top 20 in races. Three wide, Charles Sanford got left out in the outside lane there. Jackson's able to hold on to his lead lap spot. But like I said, Jackson's just trying to get top 20 finishes. Sanford still holds the lead here. I can't say enough for how these guys are doing. Alan Cavanaro for Arc Racing, the most one of the underfundedest cars out here. Alan Cavanaro is such a great driver to be put in this race team here. A veteran driver. He's won in the series before. He's a past Daytona 500 winner. And Alan Cavanaro driving this underfunded team here. Runs in six right now, but back here for seventh, Dom Caps. An amazing run for Monster Energy Racing, and especially Dom Caps, who has struggled a lot this season. 41st in the point. Racing hard with Michael White, one of the Turner Fenway cars. Michael White and Dom Caps have not had the very best season here for their race teams here, and they're running inside the top 10 right now. Jesse Turner, he's kind of been really um, consistent all season here. He's kind of been finishing the top 15, top 20s. Um, yeah, top 15's been where we're usually seeing him the last few races here. Jesse Turner just coming off some consistent finishes here. Um, I'm really surprised he's not been battling for wins here in the last few weeks here. Um, this team has not been as strong as um, the leading driver of Jake Bassinger. Um, but all the all the Turner Fenway cars are re running really strong inside the top 10 here today. They tried to get Louvier's car back out there again, and once they got Louvier's car back out on the racetrack and fixed up a little bit, literally making only a few turns on the racetrack, making it back on the racetrack there, it blew up. So this 38 car is done for the day after it gets to pit road. Boy right there, I don't know if you guys saw that, but Cooper Siron lost it in the dirt and was so close to hitting the tire wall there. He is a lap down and struggling a little bit this race here. But he is going to manage to get some points here because of some people struggling this race. We are on lap 16 here of 21. We're going to give you a field rundown here. 
control Sanford. It looks like the Fords are going to go back to victory lane as it runs right now, maybe, right here this race. They're back to second place here. Eric Burton has gotten past Jake Bassinger, and Burton is in second place now. And Jake Bassinger runs in the third position right there. It looks like he's going to take the point lead back once again where he has left off this race here. James Royal Fox, another strong finish as it runs right now. Um, running right now, P4. And that number 28 car. Like we said here, we're going to show you right here one second. We're going to get back to the lineup here in a second. Nick Perkles had to make a pit stop here, and he's down to 15th. We do not know if they're these guys are going to have to make pit stops here. Fourth is Jake Bassinger. Not Jake Bassinger, James Soil Fox. Fifth place is the Turner Fenway car of Michael White. He ended up getting sixth or seventh over there at Las Vegas. That's his only top ten this season. Right now, Michael White holds fifth place. Sixth position goes to, a Dom, goes to Dom Caps, the season six champion. Dom Caps really needs this run right here. Monster Energy Racing has thought about maybe releasing him from the team because Dom Caps has struggled so much this season. Um, <clears throat> behind him, though, battling hard for the seventh position here, it's Alan Cavanaro and Skyla Johnson here for the two underfunded cars of the field here. Um, Alan Cavanaro and Skyla Johnson battling hard for seventh position here. Alan Cavanaro is doing amazing, a really, really, really great job for this ARC Racing team. ARC Racing really just wants Alan Cavanaro to get top 30s and maybe, maybe, maybe a top 25. Don't really expect much out of that camp from the 66 team, but for this road course race, Alan Cavanaro is doing a fast, um, a fantastic job right there, running right there in seventh. And back here in ninth is Jesse Turner running strong here. Malik Nevins needs this run here. He's 40th in the point standings, just like Dom Cap struggling this season. 10th right now, and back here in 11th is Jacob Hart, and 12th is Richard Johnson, another measly um, decent finish there. 13th, Ashley Mace. Back here, 14th, Jordan Fisher. Fisher is continuing to finish in the top 15 this season. He's like 5th in the point standings within a race back of the point leader. Jordan Fisher still finishing in the top 15 this season. 5th in the point standings with only one top 10 this entire season. 15th, Nick Perkles. Remember, he pitted earlier in the race. Then back here in 16th, Luke Martin. And um, 17th is Andreas Allen. He's doing good this season. And the leader is Charles Sanford, still untouched and have, has not yet made a pit stop. Battle for second place going on right here. James Sorafox trying to continue getting podiums here. James Sorafox has done an amazing job this season to be really consistent here. He's up to third, looking for second here. James Sorafox at um, Arkansas and Texas World. He ended up getting a top three finish there. Um, I'm not really sure where he finished at um, Road Atlanta. I know a lot of people struggled at that race at Road Atlanta. But, um... Yeah, James Sorfox just goes right on by for second, and Jake Bassinger's in the preferred groove to take over third. And uh, Burton doing an amazing job here for his own team. The Swagger Motorsports car is right there. That's a battle for third. Behind him there, fourth position, or fifth position actually, is um, right here, Michael White. But Dom Caps is trying to run him down for that position, but Michael White looks like he's going to be able to hold it there, and Bassinger ducks a little Burton, and looks like Bassinger's going to take over the fourth or the third position there, and James Sorafox is up to second. Charles Sanford. It's the last lap, and he's pretty much dominated this race. He has, he's had a fast forward all race. The two Mace cars, Vance Allen and Jordan Davis had an equally as strong car, but they wrecked out early. Sanford got redemption last season in winning in last season's um season 18 he was written off as a washed up driver but he's rejuvenated his whole entire career has a fast race car underneath him for this season and Sanford for Yamp Motorsports gives him the first win of the 2015 season Charles Sanford wins at Motorsports for his 13th career Sony Cup Series victory Charles Sanford Going into season 18, which was last season, he was written off as a washed-up driver. Probably wouldn't have ever won another Sony Cup Series race. Everyone would have wrote him off as that. But he ended up winning in round number 5 and 6, back-to-back -back races at North Wilkesboro and at <clears throat> Hartlepool. And 
ever since then, Charles Sanford got himself back in a good team there. Team owners looked at him after them two wins there and thought that he still had enough to go for wins and a championship. And Charles Sanford hired on for one of the biggest teams of this season here. Not one of the biggest teams, but a good enough team to battle for wins and championships here. Charles Sanford's back on the map here, as you can see. And Charles Sanford willing his number four fusion into victory lane here at Mosport. For the second road course race of the season, congratulations to Charles Sanford um, on the win here today. Back here in second here, James Warfox was able to hold off Bassinger and um, Eric Burton there. Bassinger takes over the point lead again, getting third. And back here in fourth, something happened to um, Eric Burton there because Michael White is now up to fourth. And Burton must have wrecked out there. Yeah, this was it. Burton cut a tire down right here at the very end. Had to come in, piled it into the pit wall. And that second place battle right there of what could have been maybe a fourth place finish for Eric Burton to make up ground on the points there. He drops in points here, finishing 16th here. It is a decent finish. It's not, not going to lie. It's a decent finish. But Eric Burton, he could have finished a lot better there, finishing fourth he could have. But look, that's today it belongs to Charles Sanford here today. Congratulations to Charles Sanford on the win here today for his 13th career win. And congratulations to Yant Motorsports on their first ever win of the 2015 season. Let's get you to your finishing results and standings after round number eight.